Today, we're gonna drive to the Outer Banks. I'm here in Tacoma Park, Maryland, and this is my BMW i3. It's a 2015 model with the Rex. Some people say you can do it, some people say you can't. Well, we're gonna put it to the test. Uh, we have a full charge, 100% and a full tank. So we're trying to be efficient in our driving. We're riding with uh, windows open, no AC. To improve efficiency, you know, it's okay because it's cool today. It's not too warm. But it may be later and then we might need the AC on I-95. But for now, let's just keep it at a minimum consumption i'm gonna activate whole state of charge when i get to 75 percent charge and uh then use the rack charge option just became active we covered 23.2 uh, miles and it brought us right outside the beltway we have to drive with our windows open it's getting warmer but so far so good the typical i i-95 traffic i-95 between washington and Richmond, for those who don't know it, is really a nightmare. Very typical. Now, in a car like this one, uh, not the worst thing. You get to do a lot of regenerative braking. You keep, you hold your state of charge quite well. We activated this function like 10 minutes ago and we're still at 75%. 101 miles on gas, 66 miles on electricity, left to go, so doing great. We've made it all the way to Richmond, now we're east of Richmond on I-295 and we are about to get into I-64 East. We have 8 miles left on gas and 52 miles on electricity. We're gonna get off on I-64 and get off at the first gas station and fuel up. mention about this car it handles pretty well when you're driving in an urban setting and it's awesome to park you can park it pretty much anywhere you find a small spot and it fits freeway handling not so great stop for fuel and let's go okay that's it it's a 
sounds more like it. That's it. Two gallons. Good. All right. And off we go. The good thing about this uh, route is that the speed limit is really low and then when you get into the outer bank, same thing. Most of it, you're going to be driving at 45, 50 and sometimes 55. We still have 57 miles on electric, 46 on gas and we have 60 miles to go so we have plenty to go, we're good. What I'm gonna do is, when we are about 50 miles or so from destination, we can roll on electric until we get to where we're going. outer banks and what I'm gonna do is I have still about half a little bit less than half the a tank of gas good enough for 42 miles and I have 58 miles of electric charge and 55 miles to go so what I'll do is I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the turn off the the range extender it's off so it's not gonna hold charge now we're gonna go 100% electric from here to our destination in Rodante now 19 miles away from our final destination and we're been using we've been using only electricity for this last last stretch and a little bit of fuel at some point I, I held the charge just to be sure we arrive at our destination we are at 1.1 mile away turn right onto Ocean View Drive and yes that's where we're going <laughs> And we have... You will reach your destination in 500 feet. What's the charge? 7.5%, so that's great. And here we are. Overall, driving this car for 340 miles was a good experience. I don't think I would drive it uh, a lot longer than that, uh, for a longer distance. You could do it if you wanted. Would I do it? Probably not. But it can be done. It is not a car built for highways and uh, the handling is not the best when it comes to uh, higher speeds or highway speeds. We will be driving this car again here to come here, to come to the Outer Banks, to come to Cape Hatteras. Would I drive a longer distance than the 340 miles that we drove? I don't think so.
make sure to send me your comments or questions about the BMW i3 and I'll be sure to answer them or maybe post another video. That's all for now.